Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Can't believe no one's asked me to uh, include in my prayer a prayer for the Eagles. You know? yeah. <laughs> so I'm a Giants fan, but uh, you know, <coughs> but it's an honor for me to, to be part of this meeting again uh, this year. I just want to read a couple uh, verses. Uh, Apostle Paul talks to uh, Timothy in First Timothy chapter two, in the New Testament. I urge you then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. For kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Let me pray. God, I want to thank you for this occasion here. It's an important meeting, God, and uh, as I just read, Lord, your word teaches us that we're supposed to pray for those in authority. Uh, those that have uh, been elected, those who are... Uh, a row for us, Lord. I just pray for each one. Pray for this meeting tonight. That uh, your will be done here. Thank you for those who have uh, come out to support this meeting. And just pray your blessing now. I pray in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Would everyone please rise? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am in receipt of certificates of election from the County Board of Canvasser, serving certifying the elections of Frank D. Formica, James A. Bertino, and Maureen Kern. Frank D. Formica, will you please come forward with Judge Mark Sampson to administer the oath? Certificate of Health uh, acceptance, which we had to have before we can open the methadone program in the jail, which is a huge lifesaver. Because when do people die of overdoses? And when they get out of Atlanta, the Atlanta County Jail, uh, they've been detoxing for a couple of weeks, and then they go back to using it the same amount that they had used before, and they die. It's a tremendously high rate. So we, we needed this thing. The Certificate of Health um, uh, license had been pending for five years, and we couldn't get it done. So I called Frank up and. I said, Frank, we need help. And when you call many politicians, they'll say, sure, 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 and then they won't do anything. Uh, Frank, in this case, says, 
let me see the literature about whether this is a smart thing to do or not, because he didn't know. And a lot of people do not know. I think that there's more recognition than there was of the detox problem. Um, so I, he said, send me the literature. So I sent the literature. I didn't hear from him for a couple weeks, so I figured I'm getting blown off again. Uh, but then he called me up. He says, I read the literature. I agree with you. And he went, went in to help us, and we got it done. We have a methadone uh, treatment program at the Atlantic County <coughs> Jail. There's a maximum of 50 people under a license. It's almost fully used. We've probably, over the last two years, saved hundreds of lives because of it. Uh, people who have gone on to use methadone short term in Atlanta County Jail and then have continued on the outside um, in a life-saving a, a life medically assisted treatment. So I thank Frank for that. I've thanked him a dozen times. This is another way I, I want to thank him because he not only helped me, but he said, I want to read the literature. He didn't believe me. You know, of course. I, which, no, but, but he actually read the literature, which was scientifically unassailable, that this will save lives, and then he, did, then he acted on it. And he did what he said he was going to do. So thank you, Frank, very much for your help. That was great. I think I'm going to swear you in now. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. Repeat after me. I, Frank D. Formica. I, Frank D. Formica. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States and in this state. And to the governments established in the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly. That I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office of freeholder. Perform all the duties of the office of freeholder according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, freeholder. Tremendous job holding the bike. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say that uh, it has been my pleasure and will continue to be my pleasure to serve as Atlanta County. Uh, I truly believe in our government here. We have a very committed group of professionals and elected officials. And although things get slanted politically uh, from both sides, I really do believe that the people of this county are being served by one of the best governments in any of the counties of this state, maybe anywhere in the country. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my wife Amy for uh, putting up for uh, what was a very challenging uh, campaign season this year, uh, but the results uh, were very satisfying, and I thank everybody for their support. Thank you. in this room that uh, especially with what's going on in this country at this time 
uh, we need to work together to solve problems. And we have to think about the future, think about our kids and our grandkids. And I think if we do that by working together, as Jim has shown that he's done over the years, I think we'll all be better for it. So I'm proud to uh, swear him in today. Uh, raise your uh, right hand and uh, raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Raise your, raise your right hand. I just want to check with you, okay? Right. Check. I, James A. Bertino. I, James A. Bertino. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And the governments established. In the United States and the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people so help me God so help me God I do further solemnly swear I do further solemnly swear that I will faithfully that I will faithfully impartially impartially and justly and justly perform all of the duties perform all the duties of the office of freeholder of the office of freeholder according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Michael. You're on. I've always, uh, from the beginning of time when Judge Donio came to me and told me I should seek public office, I thought he was crazy. But I found it to be so rewarding. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, the direction you gave me early on, uh, politically in, the, in Hamilton, which was a great proving ground. Uh, Hamilton is a, is a beautiful community. I'm very fortunate to, to, to be there. Served quite a few years there, and we accomplished a lot of goals together. And I learned that working together with people uh, from both sides of the aisle for your community is really why we're here and why people elect us. And for me, I've always found uh, the strength that I got from leaders above me. If I work at the county level or the state level, I work with, um, through the years, a variety of our senators, congressmen, they all help us accomplish the same goals. And it makes our jobs at this level sometimes seem a lot easier. We all know the hours we put into it and the efforts we have to put forth uh, to satisfy and to help our constituents, but they deserve it. And that's why they send us back every year. So I just want to say thank you, of course, to my wife, Hope, and my family. Uh, they've put up with all the meetings through all the years and, the, uh, and, and all the uh, efforts. If you don't have your, your family at home supporting you, we all know uh, you can't really do this job well. And I thank them for that. And also, I want to say thank you to the voters of the 5th District. Uh, I have a, an incredible district I'm very fortunate to serve. Uh, elected officials out there, they make me look good at the county, and I know we're a good team working back and forth. And I love serving. I'm, I, I think it's the best district. Don't tell anybody else I said that. I'm fortunate to serve it. E easy for you all to believe. Easy. <laughs> it really is. And I want to thank you guys for that opportunity. Thank you very much. everybody a happy and healthy new year and let you know that it's a real honor for me to be able to take part in the swearing in of Maureen today. Um, you know I've watched firsthand how hard she works for all the families throughout Atlanta County uh, and she works until she gets the job done. And it reminded me of a quote by Margaret Thatcher who said in politics if you want to talk about something ask a man. If you want to get something done ask a woman. So we have Maureen here who we can ask to make sure that she gets things done. So thank you. Thank you. Maureen Kern. I'm Maureen Kern. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The 
Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the government. And to the government. Established. Established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. And partially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of freeholder. Of the office of freeholder. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> I do appreciate everything that uh, the voters, have, you know, come out and, and support us. Uh, I, I thank my husband Jay, my family, my sisters who are always there here and uh, supporting me. Uh, it's my passion to uh, serve the community, and I greatly appreciate the opportunity to further that passion. So I thank you all, and thank everyone for being here. Today. Chairperson to the 2019 Atlantic County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Madam Clerk, it is my privilege and honor to nominate Amy Gatto as chairperson of the 2019 Atlantic County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Madam Clerk, it is my privilege and honor to nominate Amy Gatto as chairperson of the 2019 Atlantic County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Second the nomination. Madam Clerk, it is my privilege and honor to nominate Amy Gatto as chairperson of the 2019 Atlantic County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Second the nomination. Are there any other nominations for a chairperson? I move to close nominations. Second. <coughs> Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Romika? Yes. Gatto? Yes. Kern? Yes. And Risley? Yes. Chairperson, it is my privilege and honor to nominate Maureen Kern as Vice Chairperson of the 2019 Atlantic County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Second. We have a motion second. Any other nominations? I move that nominations be closed. Second. Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Romika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. 
Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Resolution number five. Appointment of Atlantic County Representative to the New Jersey Association of Counties, Frank D. Formica. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any free order comments? Comments from the public? <laughs> Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Resolution number six. Appointment of Atlantic County Second Alternate Representative in Jack Ashley Bennett. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? <laughs> Any comments from the public? Roll call. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatta? Yes. Resolution number seven. Appointment of freeholders to serve on various Atlantic County boards, commissions, councils for 2019. <coughs> Motion. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Resolution number eight? 2019 temporary budget. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Uh, resolution number nine. Depositories and cash management plan for the County of Atlantic 2019. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call, please. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Horsey? Yes. Dave? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Resolution number 10. Establishing petty cash funds for various departments and divisions of Atlantic County 2019. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call, please. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Herb Horsey? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Uh, one time sensitive piece of business to do today, resolution number 11. Reappointment of Harrison Furman of the Atlantic, to the Atlantic Cape Community College, Board of Trustees for a term expired December 31, 2022. Motion. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any reorder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Gramica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Thank you. Um, before <coughs> we move into public comments, uh, we'd like to make a special presentation. So I'm going to okay, step on down and ask Chairman Gramica oh. to step on up to the plate. Oh, so, Frank, um, you have served so well as our as our chairperson for so many years, um, and uh, you have been such a mentor, role model, coach to all of us, and uh, helped us, given us so much advice along the way. Um, we couldn't let the moment go by without honoring you and your service to this county as our chairperson. Now, I did ask to match your giant freeholder shield that you have, <laughs> if we could possibly find a giant gavel to give you. And Sonia looked at me pretty sideways when we talked about it. So the best we can do is a regular gavel. <laughs> Presented to Frank D. Vermica for Chairman 2011 to 2018 in recognition of your outstanding leadership and dedication to the citizens of Atlantic County presented on this first day of January 2019 from your Board of Chosen Three Boards. Thank you so much. Well, I could say that uh, eight years as the chair and this is the first time I'm surprised so <laughs> thank you very much it's heartfelt and really appreciated and Sonia I'll get with you later <laughs> I think the only thing you forgot in the mentor leader and everything is friend absolutely very good friend. absolutely thank you very much more than just a friend leader.
we'd also like to take a moment to recognize some of our um, dignitaries and elected officials, officials that are here today. So again, we offer thanks to uh, Judge Donio and Judge Sanson for being here to do the swearing in, as well as our Senator Chris Brown. I'd uh, like to um, welcome Alexander uh, Kretzkowski. Sorry if I butchered that. No worries. From uh, the governor's office. Thank you for coming down <coughs> and joining us today. Um, our county sheriff, Eric Scheffler, is here. Thank you so much. <coughs> our county surrogate, James Kershio, is here. Um, Under Sheriff Comar is also there as well. Um, former freeholders, John Harmon and Alex Marino. Thank you for being here today. Uh, from Unibrow, we have Councilwoman Rosalie Baker. Thank you. Okay. From A. Carver City, we have Councilman uh, Angelo Lello is back there, as well as Councilman-elect Joe Ritchie. We have uh, from Folsom Borough, uh, Ben Pagano, Councilman. Thanks for joining us, Ben. Good to see you here in better health. Um, and let's see, I feel like I'm missing a few people. Oh, former mayor of Hamilton Township, Charles Pritchard, also our in-house reporter. Um, and hopefully I didn't miss anybody um, else. If I did, feel free to wave. I also want to say um, a welcome to uh, the Atlantic County Republican Chairman, Keith Davis, and also to uh, my many friends and family that are here and, and all of us that are here uh, supporting our, our families. Thank you all for, for being here today as well as our many county employees that had to come in to work today, so thank you so much. Uh, with that, we will open it up to the public for any public comments. <coughs> Anyone wish to speak? Okay, seeing none. Um, any freeholder comments? Madam Chair? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, let me just say Happy New Year's to everyone, and certainly uh, I do blame my former chairman for us having to come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else in the county met today, but that's why he's for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. And uh, I want to say a couple of things. First of all, I want to thank uh, former chairman uh, for Mika for an outstanding job. Uh, he has done uh, leading this uh, board uh, for the last six years that I've been here. Um, you know, we. But that about Frank and I, we could agree to disagree that never became personal. And that uh, when you're in public life, uh, I often tell people, you can do 99 things right, the 100th thing they never forgive you for. <laughs> and uh, Frank always tried to stay above the fray and to do what he thought was right for the residents of Atlanta County. Um, and so we want, I want to personally thank you, Frank, for all you've done uh, as our chairman and certainly as a freeholder in, in the Atlanta County. Uh, and certainly thank all of our uh, dignitaries for coming. More importantly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to um, also more pause in a, in a moment of silence in memory of the young lady who lost her life at the age of 21 at Atlanta County uh, Volunteer Firefighter. Um, I think it'd be appropriate. And, but before we do that, I also want to, um, at the next meeting, memorialize that by way of a resolution that we will get with our attorney regarding that. And then the second thing with that is, Madam Chair, as I mentioned it to you in, in Council, uh, Freeholder uh, Days uh, the other day at the service, uh, I would like to move that we name that section of the road in her memory. Uh, and if it's not a county road, uh, let's find where it is appropriate. Um, I don't recall uh, a firefighter dying in the line of duty in my age, in my time, uh, especially 21 years old, who got out of her bed on Christmas morning to try to help somebody else. Um, it's the old saying, here today, and going tomorrow, it's here today, and going today, you just never know uh, when it is going to be our, our last time. So I would hope that my colleagues would join me uh, in that, um, and perhaps at the next meeting we can move forward, uh, identifying whether that's a county road, uh, and if not, let's find out from the family what they think would be appropriate uh, to, to do something in her memory. And with that, Madam Chair, we just have a moment of silence. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I 
did miss a member of the public wanting to make a comment. Brianna, did you want to say something? I'd like to thank the Freeholder Board, which I have witnessed many times in session, for the integrity that they have shown everyone in this county. I also would like to echo much of what uh, Mr. Corsi has said, Freeholder Corsi. We are blessed to have the kind of people that we have that the county has elected to run our county. I'd like to thank you and God bless you all. Back to free order comments. Any other? Yes, free order Thank you, Madam Chair. First of all, I'd like to say uh, congratulations, of course, on the re-election of all three freeholders, Frank and Jen and Maureen, do an outstanding job. Frank, you've done a great job as the chairman of this board. It's uh, well noted. We've had some very interesting debates and discussions, as we will have them as we go into the future. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a chair of this board and a vice chair of this board that has a catalog of experience. And that's important in government, to have truly a catalog of different experiences because uh, experience matters in government and experience counts. And it's crucial to running an effective government. And this county is very fortunate to have a chairperson and vice chairperson who have that uh, deep municipal experience. So with that, uh, I say congratulations and uh, wish everyone the, the happiest of New Year's. Thank you. Thank you for Madam Chair, if I may? Yes. I, I was remiss uh, in, in two items. Sure. One is, um, as everybody knows, the seriousness of the situation at Buena Vista High School. Uh, myself and Freehold and Bennett, uh, attended that special board meeting uh, last week when that young man, 16 years old, was humiliated and cut his dreadlocks. I had to cut your dreadlocks or forfeit the match. Unacceptable. And um, we as a board, I, I can recall when I first got on the free on the board, <clears throat> there was a situation regarding Atlantic City High School and Holy Spirit High School at a basketball tournament. And the kids at Holy Spirit came out with banana and monkey outfits, and we denounced it. Something happened at Mainland Regional High School, we denounced it. Something happened now at Vena Vista, we need to denounce it. We cannot allow, here in 2019, the same foolishness that happened in the 30s and the 40s to continue to go. And it, it, it is upon us as elected officials to stand up. How in the hell are you tell me a 16-year-old kid can make a decision at 30 seconds? Unacceptable. Uh, and so uh, I would hope that my colleagues again would join in and make it very clear that uh, some form of action needs to be taken, must be taken, and let them know that it's not acceptable and that uh, we will not sit by and just allow this to be swept underneath the rug. The other thing is, is that um, I believe, Madam Clerk, and I stand to be corrected, this is the first time in the history of the Atlanta County Board of Freeholders we have had a female chairman, and probably the second time we've had a vice chair. Uh, we've come a long ways, and uh, we want to commend you both. And Amy, um, you got some big shoes to fill. You will not be making bread and pizza, <laughs> uh, but we're here uh, at the ready to, to assist you. And as I said to Frank, we may agree on, uh, disagree on some things, but knowing that we're here fighting on behalf of the residents of Atlanta County. I believe that John uh, Grizzly has indicated uh, your experience uh, will tell um, and that you will lead this board um, in the right direction. And it's not a me thing, it's a we thing. We're here to represent the people and we congratulate you both again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone else on the board? Yes, Mr. Chairwoman. You know, I just have a couple comments. Uh, government uh, governing is a team sport, and we would not be successful up here without the people that we have behind us. And that's our county executive, Denny Levinson. It's his, you know, the team and administration that he he has built. It's uh, our colleagues, uh, you know, right up here on the freeholder board. Um, you know, we have a great team behind us with uh, Sonia, Tara, Yagoda, <laughs> and. Um, <coughs> 
uh, and Pat. So, uh, you know, I thank everybody for, you know, being there for us and making us, you know, a successful team. You know, in addition, you know, we were speaking about Frank Formica, and I just want to say, you know, once again, thank him for his leadership, you know, that, you know, as, as uh, chairman for the last uh, eight years. Has it been eight years? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, and as I said before, he, he's been more than a mentor, he's a friend. And I've watched him time and time again do the right thing regardless of politics or any outside pressure. And I thank you very much and appreciate all your ongoing leadership you know, moving forward. Um, I am truly excited to be a part of the team and uh, partnering with uh, Chairwoman Gatto. As, and as Vice Chair this year, working with uh, my colleagues on continuing our efforts with economic development. Government can do a lot to improve our lives, but good jobs are the foundation of every successful family, neighborhood, and community. And it all begins with economic development. And believe me, we will continue our strong efforts in that area. And I thank everyone again for being here today, and Happy New Year. Thank you, Vice Chair Warren. Anyone else? Oh, go ahead, bring one over to you. Thank you. Well, I also like to echo the comments from our free overs here. Um, congratulations to our chair and vice chair. You know, I've had the opportunity to watch, um, as mayor at Hamilton, Amy, your leadership and your ability to connect with your residents and to get things done. And I know you and Maureen, and working with Maureen the last few years, I know she has. You guys have a, a great skill set that the residents of Elena County need in these trying times. So I look forward to working with you as, as we always have uh, to accomplish the, the goals you guys want to set. Uh, I think in politics today, uh, everybody cries out for our elected officials to stand up and be leaders and get things accomplished. And I know uh, that with you guys at the helm, that's going to continue here in Atlantic County. It's always been uh, what the residents of Atlantic County have demanded. <coughs> And, uh, and I know you guys are ready for that challenge, and we're here to help. So I just want to say congratulations again as well. Thank you for yes, you. Yes, Dave. Yeah, I just would like to, once again, publicly congratulate uh, Freeholder Marine Kern, Freeholder Fumika, and Freeholder Bertina on the re-election. I want to thank our, our staff, uh, Pat, Tara, and you, Yugoda, for coming in today. Um, and as a lot of Freeholders who said, spoke before me said that, you know, we don't just do the county business on, on meeting days. Um, it's 24-7, and I want to challenge everyone in the public to continue to hold our feet to the fire, continue to attend meetings, continue to reach out with whatever means you're, you're comfortable with, whether that's snail mail, email, phone calls, uh, smoke signals, however you want to reach out to us, because um, we are here to do your work, to do your business. So thank you for, for being there today, and happy new year. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you, Congratulations to everyone who was re-elected. Thank you to the staff for um, helping to make my and I, I believe Freeholder Bennett's first year on the Freeholder Board um, fulfilling and <coughs> hopefully successful. I think we had a good year, and I want to thank everyone for coming out today on New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Freeholder? Freeholder Bennett, did you want to? Yes, I did. Okay, go ahead. For one, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. To everyone elected and to you, uh, Madam Chairwoman, and our Vice Chairwoman, it is an honor and a pleasure to serve with both of you and to serve with this entire board. And I want to say thank you to our wonderful staff and to our clerk and to everyone who attended. Happy New Year. Thank you. Bring order for me. Well, uh, I'd be remiss if I had to point out that uh, this very room a few years ago <laughs> Had some broken glass in it. <laughs> and, uh, it was okay, but today we broke a different uh, glass here. And, uh, you know, just for the calculation, and uh, Mr. Grasudski, uh, like, you should let the governor know that 182 years ago this county was incorporated. This is the first female chairperson in 182 years, but also to note that last year it was 181 years and it was the first female vice chairperson so uh if you don't think that uh atlantic county is moving in the right direction for the right reasons there's a there's something to just take note of and i couldn't be prouder to be part of this board thank you very much thank you with that
that, I'd like to say, um, first of all, a happy and healthy new year uh, to everyone. Freeholder Pramico, Freeholder Kern, Freeholder Brutino, Atlanta County is blessed to have you back for another three years of service. Congratulations. I am beyond honored to have been given a vote of confidence by you all, my colleagues, and selected as the first chairwoman of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of Atlanta County. For those who, and Frank just stole my joke, for those who may have attended our pre-order reorganization two years ago when I got sworn in, you'll understand what I mean when I say this is the type of glass breaking we'd like to see in Atlanta County. And you know I love you, Maria. Now it's it's all good. Good. <laughs> With the years of service and breadth of experience by many of my colleagues on the board, when Chairman Formica said he wanted to nominate me for this position, I was just so humbled. I promise not to let any of you down in filling his very large shoes. This is another historic milestone in our county after having elected Maureen Kern as the first vice chairwoman last year. When shadowing the late freeholder Joe Nichols in eighth grade and affirming the desire to serve community in the way that he did, never did I imagine sitting in this seat. I have grown up in a diverse and inclusive party that has helped shape the path to success for anyone wanting to enter public service through mentorship, support, and continued encouragement to not let anything hold you back. In that same spirit, I'd like to dedicate this milestone to all of the young women out there working diligently to make a difference in their families, their careers, and their communities. I'd like to dedicate this milestone to firefighter Natalie Dempsey, whose goodness, light, drive, and sacrifice at such a young age will motivate us all to reach that much higher for a prosperous 2019 in Atlanta County. And the only thing left to say after that is go birds. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend, would you offer us a benediction? I'm out of chair for Reverend Thomas. I'm sorry, go ahead, yes. I think it's important to announce that we must keep an eye on the news and the paper because for the next six months we'll be having one meeting at night and I think it's important that uh, folks understand that they may yes. show for a four o'clock meeting and they might be a night meeting. Thank you for pointing that out, um, Chairman. Uh, I'm sorry. Freeholder. What I wanted to say was uh, we um, we have in the years past uh, moved our meetings around to different municipalities aside from our normal uh, meeting place in Northfield. Um, we had some discussion in the prior year about holding um, our meetings at six o'clock in some uh, some of our uh, different months to try to open up the. Uh, meetings to various members of the public who might want to come. So um, as the freeholder just pointed out, please uh, watch for not only our meeting times varying, but also potentially our meeting location varying throughout the year. Okay. It's been an honor for me to be here today. I just want to mention one uh, last thing too. Um, I've been blessed to be in my church for over, over 30 years. Uh, my wife and I helped start the church uh, way back then. But over the years, uh, as the church was growing, we experienced different growth, uh, growth, growth pains, I guess you'd say. But one of the things that uh, I've noticed, even up until now, is that uh, God has blessed our church because of unity. And I think unity is something that uh, needs to be mentioned here, too. Not that it's not evident, but uh, for the uh, Freeholder Board to continue to be successful, there needs to be a, a spirit of unity uh, amongst each of you that have been uh, called in. I just want to remind you, too, of uh, the call of your lives to serve in this way. You know, I was called uh, to be a minister many years ago, and it was a high calling as well, but your calling is, is, is just as important to do what you're doing here. But I'm going to do a closing uh, prayer and benediction, and then we'll get on our way. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this meeting. I thank you for this uh, new change of guard here. Lord, I pray for a uh, new chairperson, Lord, as she begins her. Uh, tenure as she leads here, Lord, just give her what she needs to, to lead and lead well. I pray for the entire uh, freeholder board that you bless each of them. Lord, remind them of the importance of, uh, uh, of family, not being away from their family uh, too much because of uh, your call to, to do what they're doing here. Thank you, too, for Frank and his uh, years of leadership. Continue to bless him uh, and just uh, be with him, Lord. I pray for this freeholder board. 
pray for the county, and I just pray for this concept of unity. It's such an important thing. And I just pray that there would be unity in the coming year, coming years, and that you would just continue to bless. Uh, give them wisdom, Lord, as uh, many decisions are made each year. Just give them what they need. Now to him who was able to keep you from falling and present you before his glorious presence without fault and with, it, with great joy, to the only God and Savior of the glorious, the glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, now, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Go. No, second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.